Days have passed since an angry mob first torched this building, but the ashes continue to smolder. This used to be Adu City's courthouse. It and several other buildings, including police stations, were destroyed, following protests against an alleged coup. The newly appointed Home Minister here in the Maldives has described the burning of government buildings as acts of terrorism. He has vowed to punish those involved. The concern among international human rights groups is exactly how that's interpreted by the police and military. This man says he was savagely beaten for more than eight hours by police, arrested and accused of participating in violent demonstrations against the country's newly installed government. He was released when no evidence was found. Start to beat me up from two sides, some kind of uh, steel. He spoke to us on the condition we protect his identity, saying police warned him if he talked, he would be killed. They tried to put petrol also around us. They were, they were torturing us like they were trying to kill us and they were, we will never see our family again. And the city's police commander says his force are the victims in the violence. He showed us barracks that had been destroyed where officers lost everything. He denies any of those arrested were wrongly treated. I would uh, categorically deny that uh, any kind of uh, mistreatment or any person that has been uh, brought into the police custody. We pressed him to show us the 80 people still being held. He agreed. On the condition, our cameramen stayed behind. They have beaten me a lot. Each prisoner I spoke to claimed they had been beaten and even tortured. And they put the bar spray and they hit me three hours ago. Here they hit you. Yeah. After you were in custody, they hit you. Yeah. Yes. Filming secretly, we managed to document some of the bruises and their testimonies. Everyone, everyone was beaten, everyone. When they brought us here, they said there is no, no government at all. We are the government police. That's what they said. We are the government. We can do the commander insists the detainees are lying. We have used a uh, minimum force in trying to uh, bring them into our uh, detention. But these prisoners also say that they were beaten here in handcuffs. Uh, no. Not true. Not true. Among those being held are two members of the city council. The commander admitted warrants are out for the remaining city councillors, including the mayor. Yeah. All are members of the ex-president's party. Still, the police deny they are targeting any political group. Clearly, many questions remain unanswered. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Adu City, the Maldives.